Welcome everybody to another episode of John's Demo Room. I'm John with Irie AT and today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new product from Visionate International. This is the Read Easy Evolve. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive down, take a closer look and see what it does. All right, so real quick before I get into the unit, I just kind of want to tell you what else you get inside the box because I do think this is really nice. So first of all, you get a contact sheet with our distributed contact information, so you have a so you know where to call if you need support for this product. So that's really nice. It's even laminated, so it doesn't get messed up easily, and you can hold on to it. You also get some really beautifully laid out um, quick start guides that show you what every single button on the unit does and what every single button on the control pad does. If you have the feature pack. Another little one that showed you how to use the controls on the base unit itself. And these are just really handy, handy and they're, um, they're also laminated again, which I think is very cool. So that way they don't get junked up easily and you can retain these if you need to. You also get your user manual and you get a really cool like little mat here. And this mat actually hooks around the bottom of your unit. And so it, it helps keep things aligned when you're placing a document for scanning. So I'll show you a little bit more about that in just a second. Let me stick all this stuff over to the side and let's take a look at the actual base unit itself so on top you have your main controls here so this green button over here to the right the lower right that's your scan and capture button so when you have the camera connected which i'll show you in just a moment you would press that to scan and capture you also have a play pause button and which is blue you have a back and forward button which will skip you back and forward uh, back and forth sentences um, if you press and hold it will also spell words for you as well and you have a speech rate up and down buttons here and if you press those two in together that will also change your voice so you, there's a whole bunch of really good high quality voices in here and you have two camera slots so this first one towards the bottom this camera slot is for um, tabloid or a3 size paper the larger format paper um, i've actually tested this and i've scanned an, an entire like half a big folded out newspaper at once which is a really large document it got the whole thing and it did a beautiful job the further back position is for your smaller documents like letter size paper and A4 size documents. And you can put your camera in there and we'll put it, make it a little bit lower, a little bit closer and uh, format better for letter size paper. So you can have it in either position in the camera. Okay, so on the front, you just get a nice big speaker grill. That's where your speaker's at. You have some Evolve and Read Easy branding there. On the right hand side, you have a really nice little and a slider here for your volume up, volume down. And it just glides beautifully. Got a headphone jack there as well. Right hand side, nothing really interesting to see. On the back here, we have a few different things. We have some ports. So we have two USB 3 ports on either side. In the middle, we have two different HDMI ports there. Um, one is for uh, touchscreen monitors as well. Um, you also have a power but or power port here as well. These model or um, we do have read easies that come with or without batteries. You can get it either way. Your camera for storage actually tucks right in there and folds up nicely. That's where you pull out your camera. You can tuck it back in there for storage. I forgot to mention the top also does have a handle for carrying it around too. And then this is optional, but if you get the feature pack with this, it gives you a little wireless control pad and I'll go more into this in a little bit, but this little wireless control pad enables some more features and it also has a nice spot that it magnetically clips into the back. Okay, so that's just a quick overview of the base unit, but what I really want to do is set this up with a monitor and show you all the features because it has some great blindness features and it has some great low vision features, and I want to show you the whole package working together and what you can do. So through the miracle of video editing, I will be right back with a fully set up system. All right, so I'm back and I got everything set up here. I set up a monitor, which is an optional thing because you can get some low vision options as well. You can use this completely without a monitor. You can use it as just the base station without the feature pack, or you can also use it with the feature pack, which includes this remote and some expanded capabilities. Um, so I already went briefly over the controls on the unit itself, and you can just use it just like that as a simple reading machine. You just plug, plug it in, scan, capture, read, playback, and you have some basic controls. Okay, and then when you get the feature pack, that includes expanded capabilities. So you have document management, document saving, um, you have low vision features, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I have mine set up right now. I put the camera in the um, higher position for the larger document size capture, but I just want to show you real quick how easy it is to switch positions as well. So all I have to do is take my camera here, pop it, out of, the, disconnected. Pop it out of the forward position, and pop it in the back position. Camera connected for A4 capture. There you go, and it says camera connected, and it even says A4, which is a smaller document size. I'm gonna switch camera it back. Disconnected. Camera connected for A3 capture. Okay, and when you do the larger capture size, 
there's on this on the right hand side towards the bottom there's a little kind of flap that rolls out and that helps you align your document for the larger image capture so what I'm gonna do here is I have a full magazine and I'm gonna scan the whole thing at once here and I'm just gonna slip it underneath here line it up with my little slide out and then I'm gonna press the capture button capturing and we can see on screen that it captures the entire document in one shot. It's going to begin to OCR. It takes about two seconds, and then it will Robert OCR the whole thing. X there you go. That might have even been quicker than two seconds. Um, so, a couple things about the capture. It's really fast. The OCR is excellent, and this camera here is a 5K camera, meaning the images, image quality that it gets, is outstanding. Which means that it can also OCR down to a super small font much smaller than your average OCR device. This can OCR down to a six point font, which is just incredible for a whole bunch of um, OCR machines. All right, so going in, diving into the remote a little bit, let's go through some of these controls. Now they have a little cover here that you can put on that kind of simplifies the control. So it does simple reading, or reading document controls here, or if you lift this off, you get some low vision controls as well. So I'm gonna go over the whole thing. So starting on the, on the kind of bottom middle here, we have play and pause in the center, just to the left and right of that, we have navigation forward and backwards, and that'll jump you between sentence or a paragraph. And if you press and hold on these, it'll also spell the word for you. Um, further out to the right and left of each of those, there's some more document uh, navigation buttons, and these would be to jump you from like between paragraphs or the end of the page or to the next page. And then right above in the center, there's a little scrub wheel that you can turn and it will kind of scrub along your document. So that's one way of navigating through your document quickly. Of course, you could jump by sentence or by paragraph with those other navigational controls, but you can also scrub through, which is really cool because if you're, if you're somebody who's, um, who's an experienced screen reader user and you're good at listening to uh, voice synthesizers at a high rate of speech, you can actually scrub through documents very quickly and find the spot that you're looking for. You can also click this control in here and it will change your navigation mode. Screen, page in document navigation mode. So now I switched you know, these, uh, these navigational buttons I was talking about on the bottom here. Those will now jump between paragraphs and pages. And if I click it again. Word, sentence and paragraph navigation mode. So now it switched it and now we're doing word, word by word or sentence or uh, paragraph mode. So you can have two different kind of ways of jumping through your document there. And all you have to do is click that little scrub knob in and it will change that for you. <clears throat> we also have a cancel button over here on the left hand side. On the right hand side we have Towards the bottom, we have a capture button that will scan and capture your document there. Um, you can also press and hold the capture button and it will switch into um, table mode, which is good for like, uh, say, bank statements and things like that, that you wouldn't want. Like de by default, a lot of OCR um, engines would recognize like a bank statement as probably um, two different columns. And that's not what you want. You want it to be like a table mode and you can press and hold the capture button to have it read in OCR in a table mode, which is very nifty. Above that, there's a smaller button for multi-page capture. And this is also fantastic. We'll, we'll, I'll give you a little demo here in a minute. But the multi-page capture actually allows you to capture a page, turn the page, and it will automatically detect the page turn and capture the next page after you've turned it and stopped moving. Um, so you can capture in a whole entire um, documents or books if you want to. This thing can hold, I, I forget exactly how many, it's like something like 300,000 pages or something ridiculous. So you can hold tons of books and tons of reading material and have it saved on here um, using the feature pack. Okay, um, we also have a little bookmarks button. So if you wanna add a bookmark, you can press that. If you press and hold, it will pop up the bookmarks menu. So you can go find your previously bookmarked items or spots. Um, to the right, or excuse me, to the left of the scrub wheel, we have a little, um, a little uh, switch view option, which will switch you back and forth between your document and your live view. So right now you have scanned a document, and you'll notice if I wave my hand under the camera, you can't see it on screen, that's because we've captured it. But if we press this, it will switch us back to camera mode. Life mode or live mode if you want. So now I can actually see what's going on under here. And there is a writing mode as well if you want to write underneath of it. Okay, and then moving on here we have, uh, this is your document management button. It's over here in the middle left. And that we will open up your document menu. So if you've ca done multi-capture and save documents on here or you can do single capture and save documents on here. But let's say you have books or something like that saved on here. You can go into your document management there. Above that, so this would be the upper left-hand corner, there is a, um, a help button as well, which takes you into a nice little help menu. 
There's a views button which cycles you through different views. So right now we're looking at the original image on our screen. If I click on this. Clockwise. Oh, sorry. This is just rotating the camera since I'm in live mode. 180 degrees, 90 degrees, none. Okay, we can rotate the camera. Then if I capture. Capturing. Let's let it capture there. Intro, E. Okay, I'm gonna pause it there. So if I press the view mode now, you'll notice it actually switches me through different high, um, it, through different modes here. And um, I can see on screen, I have it uh, right now, I have overlay digital text of black on yellow. I press it again. I could have purely digital text, which has nice red, red lines in between um, paragraph breaks. If I click it again, we have, a, um, we have a vertical line, which we can scroll. Um, there's a little uh, joystick here for navigation. And if I just press right on the joystick, it will begin the scroll. And you can choose whatever scroll speed you want. It will just scroll across and you can read it. Um, this is a zoom knob, so I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit so we can probably get it on screen a little better. There we go. And let's go now it's scrolling across the screen. Click this again. We have a column mode instead. So if you want to read in a column, you can also, of course, you can press the play button and have it read to you, or you can use the joystick to have the column scroll and read along as it scrolls. We also have one word at a time. You can use the joystick also to jump through those words and press it again, and now we're back to live mode, um, or excuse me, document mode, which has an image of the captured document. So for this, this little joystick, you can actually pops up a little mouse pointer on screen. You can use the joystick to pan all around your document, and wherever you want to start reading, you just simply click your joystick. Night campus when I'll connect researchers, entrepreneurs, and in. Go ahead and pause that. But it's a great way for low vision folks to actually just be able to pan around their entire document with this with this mouse pointer and this little joystick, click on the joystick and it just begins reading the document wherever they're at. Okay, and then also in the center here of the zoom knob, you can, like I mentioned, you can turn the zoom knob to zoom in and out and you can press in the black center of that yellow. and that'll change your high contrast color mode. Yellow on black, color, yellow on black. And you can also adjust that in the settings as well. And you can see so you can have more than just the yellows. You could have white on black or blue and yellow or what, whatever you want. You can adjust those in your settings. Okay, so that's the kind of the basic overview of the control pad. And then also, if you have a touch screen monitor attached to it, you can also do pinch and zoom um, and navigation with your finger. So now I'm just scrolling around the screen using one finger. If there's a place I want to start reading, so let's scroll over here. No. Night campus when I'll connect researchers. All I did was just tap on the screen and it started reading wherever I tapped. So you can use touch screen controls with it. You can use this really nifty wireless control pad or you can use the controls on the basic base unit. So it's super versatile. It's got good high, call, high quality voices and um, you can use a, the touch screen. You can use the controls on it. You can use the wireless remote. Uh, any of these different methods to control it. It has great low vision features as well as great uh, document reading features. So let's uh, go into a couple of these and take a look at how some of them work. So the first thing I do want to show you is the voices. It's got a bunch of really great voices on it. And to change the voice, what you do is you click the um, on the base unit itself, you click the uh, speech rate up and speech rate down buttons at the same time. Noel. There's Noel. Oliver. Oliver. Vishy. Vishy. Samantha. Samantha. Sangeeta. Sangeeta. Serena. Serena. Susan. Susan. Tessa. Tessa. Tom. Tom. Fina. Fina. Zoe. Zoe. Allison. Allison. Ava. Ava. Ava ML. Ava ML. Daniel. Daniel. Fiona. Fiona. Joel. And you notice these are all English voices with different accents, which is really cool. You don't get that a lot. So you can actually choose kind of like a preferred accent if you want. So let's go ahead and find one that sounds good. Karen. Karen sounds nice. Let's go ahead and try Karen. Let's listen to how Karen reads. Entrepreneurs and industry. Capital W. Of Swill the Future by Matt of Scientific Impact. Look. All right. If you like a uh, female uh, UK accent, that would be a great one. Kate. Kate. Lee. Lee. Malcolm. Malcolm. Let's try Malcolm. I haven't heard Malcolm before. Like. We'll begin to see when dirt starts flying in February on the street, billion Phil and Penny Night Camp. All right, I wouldn't mind if Michael, Malcolm read me a bedtime story. That's a nice voice. All right, so that is different voices, different speech. And now let's go ahead and um, let's do a multi-page capture because this is a really cool uh, feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new capture here. And so on the control pad, below the capture, or excuse me, right above the capture button in the lower 
uh, right hand corner by press and hold that. Camera resuming. Multi page capture started. So adding page two. So now it's adding page two, so it's going to wait for me to turn the page. Turn page. And then it says turn adding page. page three. Turn page. And I'm not pressing any buttons here. I'm just turning the page Adding and it's page automatically four. detecting that. Turn page. Adding page five. Super easy to do. It also does page straightening for you, which is really nice. So Turn page. if you have a magazine with a little bit of like a bubble in it, kind of like what I got going on here, it will actually, it, it'll straighten all that out for you, which is nice. Anyway, so I've captured a few pages here. So I'm gonna press that multi-page capture button again to stop my multi-page capture. Turn page. Oh, sorry. I'm going to press the cancel button to end my multi-page capture. Multi-page capture complete. Okay, and there we go. And now it's captured all those pages in. I can use those same navigation options I was talking about earlier to jump by page, which if I wanted to. Cooper, two year, the night, visit, end map if the magazine. Screen, page, end of document. All right, there we go. Okay, let's see. What else do I want to show you here? Let's go ahead and just take a quick look at the document menu. Now that I've captured and saved a document, so I'm gonna press the document menu button, which is in the middle on the left-hand side. Document management. So, save document with voice tag. So I could save my document here if I want to do a voice tag. Save, I can save document it. with automatic name. I could save 1, it with- 1,111,111. Document okay. saved. Document mode. Oh, I pressed the pause button there. Um, but you could save it, you could delete it if you want to. So I'm actually document gonna go in and delete it here. Saved, saved, open a document. Delete documents. There we go. Delete. 1,100,000 warning. Yes, document deleted. Back, okay. delete documents. So I just deleted that document. Delete. Back. I'm gonna press the cancel document button to get out of mode. here. And I'm back in my document mode. So yeah, you can do all kinds of really nifty stuff, whether it's low vision, whether it's blindness, you can just have it read to you, you can use the touchscreen monitor. Um, since it has HDMI, you could plug this into your television at home, or you could go around with a battery pack version, it can be portable. Um, it's a very versatile and fantastic unit. With that 5K camera, you just get great image quality, and you get great OCR, all the way down to like a six point font, which is just fantastic. All right, that does it for the Read Easy Evolve today. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you'd like more information on the Evolve, I will leave a link in the description of this video for it, but you can also visit us online at www.iree-at.com to take a look at the rest of our product offering as well. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.